So I want to give you one main reason, my reason, for why fame can be a problem. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Stein. And today I'm going to give you my main reason for why fame is a problem. Now, many of you uh, may see fame as a positive thing. It's, it's a recognition for something. It's accolades. It's um, commercial reimbursement for your time. It's, there's opportunities. There's things that come along with being famous that you may not have if you lived in obscurity. But I want to I wanna throw out one main thing, which really is kind of a, a broad uh, issue that can be kind of broken down into other main parts. But here it is. When you become famous, the thing for which you become famous for can often take over your personality. And this is what, this is how this works. So if you're independent, oftentimes the frustration that you have, because, uh, and I'm speaking from my own experience, is you want people to hear your music. You want people to appreciate what you have created. And I do this. I, I want to be known for what I'm doing because I love to make music. I'm not doing it for the fame. But let's suppose someone is doing something for the fame. And then you have on the other side someone who's just doing it for the music. But they both want to receive some recognition for what they do. Now, here's the problem. The problem is, is that we are all very complex people and there's different sides of me. There's a side of me that likes to make music and there's, there's a side of me that likes to joke around or likes to go out to eat and likes to be private, likes to be alone. There's a bunch of different aspects about me and about you that make you who you are and make me who I am. That's why relationships are often so complicated. But when you become famous it kind of distills you or me or the celebrity as a person that is one faceted. They're not, all the other aspects about them kind of disappear because they are put into the spotlight as someone who is famous for something. Even someone like Kim Kardashian is famous for something, right? She got famous through a tape that she made, and then other things have, have added on to that. But maybe you're a musical artist, maybe you're a great actor, maybe you're a scientist, whatever it is. But the thing is, is that when you become famous, it's so incredibly easy for your image and what people to think about you is related to that one thing. And one of the reasons why that's a problem is because if you're really good at something and that's what you're known for, people will sometimes overlook your other flaws, your flaws, the things that you aren't necessarily good at. And the reason for this is because there's people around you that will come around you. Maybe they're people that help you in business. Maybe they're people that manage your schedule. Maybe they're people that just you happen to meet that are famous and because you're both famous and you both have this same kind of uh, rapport between each other, you understand, you know, you you're both have a common understanding of what it's like to be famous. You start to hang out. So you get people around you who are primarily around you because of what you're good at, what you become famous for. Whereas your friends in school or your friends when you're growing up or your family they know the full picture of you. They appreciate the full identity of who you are, or who I am, or whoever the celebrity is. Now, the problem is if people are around you specifically for one thing about you, that thing is going to overshadow your problems, your issues. And the people that are around you, because they are benefiting from your gift or at least are associated with you because of that gift to some extent, why else would they want to your autograph or be introduced to you if you weren't good at that one particular thing, right? So if that one particular thing starts to overshadow other problematic areas in your life, maybe it's your attitude, maybe it's your 
addiction. Maybe it's your toxic uh, relationships, whatnot, is that you will start to believe that those flaws and those issues aren't real because you're only getting feedback for the thing that you're famous for. This is called narcissism. When you only focus on yourself uh, and you have a false or grandiose idea of who you are. Narcissus was the famous person in the, in the mythical story of he was so infatuated with his own beauty that he sat in front of a pool or a, a lake a body of water and just stared at himself. And this ultimately led to his demise. Now, <clears throat> when you're a narcissist, you only think about yourself and how you uh, are portrayed oftentimes by, by your own self. You're not, you're not concerned about what other people think, which is often one of the main reasons why we change our behavior is because we get negative feedback. Your parents or your friends who are real with you will call you out on things. Now, if you're not being called out on things and you're constantly being re reinforced about how good you are because of what you're famous for, this ultimately is going to create problems as you probably have seen in many of the celebrities that you know about and who are no longer celebrities or even the celebrities that are famous and have become more famous because of these terrible things that have happened in their life. Now, the idea of entertainment, and this is kind of a, a, a side avenue to this line of thinking, is that entertainment is usually a difficult reason for one to become famous because in order to be entertaining, you have to be what someone wants. Now, as an independent artist, a lot of us are just making music because we love music. So if, if it happens to get, if we happen to get famous from it, it's usually coming from a genuine place. Now, here's the thing is when you have something that's coming from a genuine place and you become famous, that one particular thing gets focused on. And once you get famous and once you get the affirmation and maybe once you get the money and all the acclaim and all the things that oftentimes come with celebrity, it's easy to want to focus on that one thing. And like the narcissist who forgets all the bad stuff because they're getting reinforced about the stuff that they're good at, like the, also the person who becomes famous for something is often going to want to keep generating that thing and keep kind of developing that thing that makes them famous. And this can become an addiction. It can lead someone to neglect who they are as a whole person and only see themselves as some type of puppet or entertainer. And the problem with this is, is that even though you may start out your career, you know, keeping it real to yourself, staying humble, staying true, the reality is, is that if you become famous for entertainment, whether that's music or acting or, or whatnot, whatever it is, that element of your life is going to be the main factor in why you remain famous, unless somehow you spin it off into something else. If it's, if it's related to entertainment, you have to maintain the entertaining aspect of your celebrity in order to keep on or to keep your career going. And this sometimes allows or causes people to focus on what other people think about them. And here's the thing is that it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. You can either focus too much on what other people think around you because you want to continue your entertainment or continue your, your gift or whatever it was that caused you to be put on or to be famous, or you're surrounded by people that are so enamored with who you are as a person that they only say nice things about you and only support you and only encourage you. And you don't have the person in your life that's telling you, hey, look, you're messing up. Hey, you probably shouldn't do this. Hey, you, this isn't a right decision. So being famous brings, can bring both of these. 
And I suppose it's, it's typically one or the other. You're either surrounded by people that are constantly telling you, yes, and you're great, or you get so kind of enveloped in the aspect of maintaining what you're doing that you're constantly around people that are telling you to change or to focus on this or to focus on that, and you lose your identity. In both cases, you can lose your sense of self. When you are de compartmentalized into something specific and the other aspects are taken away, we're often left as incomplete human beings, which lead us to these two scenarios. So I'm just curious, all of us go into something, every celebrity probably goes into what they are doing, thinking that they're going to keep it real, that they're going to stay the same. And the truth of the matter is, how can we as independent artists think about this in advance just in case we do get famous or, or get into a position where we are known for something specific and are celebrated? How, would you th how do you think you would handle fame? How do you think you would handle a situation where there were people around you trying to change who you were or to try to get you to go a certain direction in order to stay famous? Or how would you handle a situation where you were constantly around people that were telling you that you were great and you didn't really have very many people around you that were honest with you? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. I appreciate you listening. Um, it's an honor to have you listen to uh, the, watch the, the videos that I make. If you would, please subscribe. Maybe like it, like or share to someone that you care about or think would be interested in this or is interested in kind of navigating the independent artist industry. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you again next time.